My preferred capacity of an everyday carry backpack is around 20 liters. That volume is perfect for all of my items that I need for work but isn't too big to tempt me to overpack. Also 20 liters is great for everyday use if you just need to do some grocery shopping. With my height of 170 centimeters, this size looks great on my back without being overwhelming. So here is a list of everyday carry bags that you might want to take a look at. We start with a bag that made it on my top 3 items of 2022 list. Check out that video in the info tab above. The Evergoods PLC20 is incredibly well made. As a matter of fact, I actually believe that this bag will hold up a lifetime. A lot of time, very durable bags tend to look a little bit utilitarian 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 but this looks very cool in my humble opinion some might call it stealthy and i would call it almost timeless you can be assured that you can use this in the office college and everyday use for many years without it looking out of place in addition to its cool look its size looks great on my back without being too big or bulky Speaking of size, the volume is perfect to fit all of my work items. And for my personal preference, the amount of compartments and slots in and outside are just right. With too many organizational slots, I feel that the bag forces you to adapt to the bag's packing style. The PLC20 has two zippered compartments inside the main compartment on the lid that you can open clamshell style. One quick access compartment on the top of the bag that is great to store your keys or your wallet whenever you might go through the security check at the airport. But personally, I wouldn't store my valuables in that pocket the whole time because it is exposed to pickpockets when the bag is on your back. Furthermore, you have this big drop-in pocket in the front which basically is just a deep dark hole in which you can easily lose small items. However, I tend to use this only to quickly store items and I can fit my Patagonia Nano Puff jacket inside. For me, this is a very solid recommendation for everyone who wants a durable, well-made, timeless looking everyday carry bag without too many bells and whistles. And I mean this in a very positive way because sometimes simple just gets out of your way and makes life easier. But what about if you need the option for more space? A few years ago I reviewed the Attitude Supply ATD1, a 30 liter bag that was able to expand to about 40 liters with its roll top top loading opening. But it also had a clamshell opening to easily organize and view all of your contents. That bag was amazing, but too big for most everyday carry. So now they made the Attitude Supply ATD2, a 18 liter to 31 liter version, at least according to their spec sheet. I used this bag a bunch for grocery shopping to be honest and for that the expandability is amazing. Just like the PLC20, this bag is very well made and uses a lot of high quality materials like this V-buckle fitlock. Moreover, these G-hooks are great in terms of quality, but in practice I really wish brands would stop using these. They look cool, but whenever the bag is empty and therefore there is no pull on these compression straps, the G-hooks are loose and therefore detach quite easily. Not a big deal, but still something that annoys me at times. Remember that big dark hole of the front compartment in the PLC20? The ATD2 is much better in that regard because the front pocket has a vertical aligned zipper so that it is easier to find your items at the bottom of the bag. Moreover, there are these two slots to organize your items in a vertical space of that pocket. However, I'd wish the pockets had zippers because small items can wiggle themselves out of those slots and then end up at the bottom of that compartment anyways. Also not a big deal, but something to be aware of. The roll top has this little frame sheet in the lip of the opening that can make rolling the roll top if you utilize the expandability a little bit cumbersome to roll, but it makes the overall look of the roll top much more neatly, which shouldn't be disregarded in an everyday carry bag that you might use at the office. Moreover, this is first and foremost an EDC bag with an expandability that is always good to have. Bottom line, if you need some expandability but still want to stay in the 20 liter-ish EDC capacity, then this bag should be on your list. 
Both of these bags might not be your cup of tea if you need to wear a formal office attire and you need your bag to fit your appearance or the office. The Brian Mill Work From Anywhere backpack might have a very long name and its name might be a little bit misleading in my humble opinion because with work anywhere I would probably assume in the woods or on the beach if I might be a little bit too nitpicky. That being said, this bag is an amazing companion for the office or any type of business related carry in an urban environment. So what do I mean by this exactly? This is a very classy looking backpack. Most people don't like wearing a backpack in combination with a suit or for an important meeting. But this bag, in my humble opinion, would fit great to those occasions or that type of clothing. You might say it is a fashion bag. And while the term fashion is predominantly associated with lower quality when it comes down to bags, this bag is very well made, has good choices of materials and a good selection of features and compartments to organize all of your work-related items. This bag has a reinforced structure that stands on its own and maintains its shape. This adds to the good looks and protects your items inside. The items inside can be stored inside these slots and pockets and the, I call it vanilla pudding bright color makes it easy to find all of your contents. When you're traveling there is a luggage pass through and a secret stash pocket for your passport. The only trade-offs that I personally don't like is that the opening due to the reinforced structure is always flapping back. So you need to kind of treat this like a top loading bag or hold the opening while you are loading the bag. Moreover, while these are high quality YKK zippers, these are the smaller type. I understand that this is a design choice because bigger zippers, yeah, they would just look odd on this kind of bag. Plus, don't forget this bag is designed for an urban environment and it's not supposed to be dragged around the dirt. So these kind of zippers are the right choice for the bag, but not something that I personally prefer. That being said, if I had to wear a suit or go to an important meeting like in a bank, then the Brian Mill Work Anywhere backpack would be my choice of backpack. Maybe you don't want the compromise between the Evergood's rugged build and the office fitting Brian Mill. Then the next two bags might be for you. This is the Air City Pack Pro. For me, this is an easy recommendation for most people. It has the right amount of features and compartments, meaning just enough to store and organize all of your items but not too many to overwhelm you or force you to adapt your packing style to the back. You have a front drop-in compartment, an admin panel compartment with a bunch of slots, two quick access pockets, one on the top and one on the side, an outside bottle compartment, and then obviously the main compartment. You can check out this video in the info tab above for a more detailed overview. This bag is very well made, but still looks cool and suited for most occasions. So toned down for the office, but still somewhat rugged to be thrown around. Honestly, this bag is so well made and well rounded that it is almost boring. But I mean this in a very positive way, because there is almost nothing negative that I can say about this bag. Plus this bag is very toned down in look and color, hence the reason why I say this is an easy recommendation for most people. One trade-off of the build and the size of 24 liters is that you might can argue that this is slightly too big and bulky for everyday carry use. While the modern day Farah version 2 has the same volume on paper like the Air, it does feel a little bit less bulky and big, which might be due to shaving off some of the pockets and therefore needing less materials on some points. For instance, the Dayfarer version 2 does not have an admin panel, which reduces the perceived bulkiness a lot. Moreover, the somewhat, yeah, let's say, beveled or rounded shape makes this appear more streamlined. And opposed to the other bags in this lineup, this is a top-loading bag with a flap-down closing. But you still have the option to open it somewhat clamshell style. In my version 1 review that you can see in the info tab above, I mentioned my concern that water could get inside the top-loading opening if you don't close it properly. In this revised version, I feel that this is less likely to accidentally leave a gap open through which water could get inside. Nevertheless, this, just like on all flap-down closings should always be double checked if you get into rain. 
Inside the main compartment you have two zippered pockets and a slot for a tablet for instance. At the bottom you can see the separate compartment that belongs to the shoe compartment at the bottom that will keep your main items clean from either shoes or dirty or wet clothing. I rarely use this style of compartment but if I have something wet this is definitely a good place just in case. Your laptop is stored in the separate compartment outside. Speaking of outside, here you have one quick access compartment on the side and a hidden stash pocket for your valuables like passport or wallet. Last but not least, a water bottle compartment and two grab handles. One on the top and one on the side, which I like a lot. Just like the Air, it is very well made but offers a great alternative in terms of appearance if you are looking for a different design. I have a few closing words because I heard this comment quite a few times lately. Why are these bags so expensive? If you are in the bag enthusiast community, all of these bags don't sound that expensive. Most mainstream people, and I don't mean this in a negative way, just to be clear, consider these bags expensive. But keep in mind the build quality, choices of materials and features. Just by that fact alone, I believe the prices are justified. Furthermore, consider this an investment that you will use to keep your expensive contents, e.g. an Apple MacBook, safe to carry to work every single day. And compared to sneakers for instance that cost at least 100 euros and most people tend to switch after a year, these bags will be used a lot of years. So investing in a high quality bag that protects all of your valuables doesn't sound that expensive anymore if you consider it to be used every single weekday over multiple years. Last but not least, I just wanted to mention that I found all of them to be very comfortable to carry around. All of them have padded shoulder straps that are fitting for their capacity, but are not too bulky that they would get in your way in everyday carry use. With 20 literish capacity, I find it to be less likely that shoulder straps are uncomfortable compared to 30 liter and above travel bags on which you need to find a balance between very bulky padded shoulder straps that might be comfortable but that get in your way when storing them in an overhead compartment. So these are some of my recommendations for everyday carry backpacks for the office. Which of these bags do you find the most interesting? Or what's your EDC bag of choice? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any specific questions for any of these bags, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to this channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Also, check out my podcast, second channel and Instagram at you know the bow. Yeah, I see you in the next videos and stay safe and healthy everyone. Thank you very much.